So the template feature in library in Notability has become quite robust in the past year. So I just want to go in and give a little bit of details about how to create templates, how to use templates in Notability, and what kind of templates are offered. So if you want to create a new note based off a template, instead of creating this quick note option on the bottom right corner, you're going to click on the button just above it, and that'll take you to the templates library. So over here, you can see that there are a whole bunch of templates that you can choose from from the gallery, which is basically a space where people can share their different templates. So other Notability Notability users can share these templates with you. And then from the ones that Notability offers, you can see now that there are quite a few options when the basic education, creative, and planning options for you to choose from. So let's start from the gallery and see what you can do here. So if you want to see more templates from the gallery, you click on browse more up here, and you can see that there are going to be a whole bunch of different templates that people have uploaded to this gallery. And you can also upload one yourself if you create one. So let's look at this weekly planner that is created by the green bean and see what happens when we download it. So you can go ahead and click on it and then click on save template. And now your template has been saved to your template library. So you can go ahead and click on view template and you can see that this is now one of your templates in your downloads. And now if you click on create on the top right, now you have a note with this beautiful template on it created by someone else and you can go ahead and fill it out the way you'd like and use this template for yourself. So the really nice thing about this gallery is that these are all free templates that have been created by other users and there's so many different options and there's so many creative, really nice looking templates that you can use for your own notes that it's just a really nice option and a really robust feature that Notability has rolled out in the past year or so. Okay, so aside from the gallery, let's look at what other templates are offered by Notability themselves. So in the basic template section, you can see that you have your plain ruled grid and dot paper which was kind of the standard for a very long time when using notability but what's really neat now is that you can go ahead and adjust the grid spacing quite nicely for each template that you want and there are quite a few options you can go through from a scale of 1 to 10 to adjust it to the exact spacing you want. This is really helpful for me when I'm using ruled paper because I like kind of a college ruled feel instead of a wide ruled and you can make it even narrower than that or wider depending on what you want to do. Now in terms of education, Notability has really come out with some nice templates for this and I think this is especially useful if you want to go ahead and print some of your notes and make them look like they were taken on paper. So I really love college ruled so let's go ahead and click on this template here and create a new note based off of it. So you can see that once you pull it up you have this beautiful college rule template on your notability page and it just looks really incredible. It really looks like just a regular notebook. So if you want your notes to have a more traditional looking feel or you want to print out your notes for some reason, then you can go ahead and use one of these standard sort of templates that you can get with the offerings from Notability. Now you might be thinking that there might be too many templates that are available and it can be a little bit overwhelming to have so many different options to work from. The good thing is that you don't have to use any of these templates if you don't want to and there are always new options that you can choose from and you can even import your own if you really want to do so. So if you want to go ahead and import your own templates, you can go down to this area here where it says my templates and then click on this plus button here where it says as custom templates. And so what you can do is you can create a template yourself online or with some other software you want, or you can go ahead and download them online and then save them to one of these resources and upload from there. So if you have any saved on your files, which I don't have any templates, but if you did, you could go ahead and upload them from your files on your iPad or from any other sort of third-party application that has cloud storage. Okay, so moving on from the education templates, you can go ahead and see that there are quite a few nice ones there. If you are in school and want to take notes on like a standard sort of notebook paper that you're familiar with. But there are also these really cool planning and creative templates that Notability has released that I think can be really useful for a lot of people. So one that I especially like is this recipe one that you can see here. And this recipe is cool because not only is it very functional but it also looks really good I could easily see someone putting this on a website of some sort or printing them out and saving it for themselves but it really gives you the opportunity to have a little photo that you can put here then you can put all your directions here serving size prep time cook time list all your ingredients etc and then you can add any notes that you want to it and this is just a really nice looking template it, they definitely did not skimp out on how attractive these templates will look and how aesthetic they look when you're doing your notes. And of course, if you are a musician and you are writing your own music, having a music 
staff would be really useful as well that you can use but i don't personally do that so i won't really go into that one as much now in terms of planning i think they used to only have some sports related ones but now it's really nice to see that they have introduced finance ones daily planning goal tracking and meal planner so let's go ahead and click on the finance one which i think is also very cool now your finance one will basically allow you to track your finances month to month now this is probably not very practical for most people to do handwritten at least in my opinion i think it's just a lot easier to do with like excel or notion or some other application like that but this is cool if you want to handwrite it you can go ahead and write it all out on here and again this is a very aesthetic looking template so that's really nice as well the other one that i think is pretty useful is the daily planner one which we can see here and this is great just if you want to create a checklist of things you want to do to basically have a little to-do list every day and the nice thing about this is that you don't need to waste a whole bunch of paper with it so and if you don't care about what you did the previous day you can go ahead and just clear the page every time and just have this one page where you can handwrite everything you need to do for the day and what your goals are and what the tasks are so that way you don't have to flip through like hundreds of pages of your planners that you've written in in the past you can just go ahead and use this one piece of paper or virtual piece of paper and just clear the page every time you want to update it now finally i'm going to show you the goal tracker one which i think is also pretty neat so this goal tracker template basically allows you to write down what goals you have and what actions you're going to take to complete the goals and this would be kind of neat if you want to basically start a goal if you're a student for example create a goal for the semester and then basically track it at the end of the semester and see how well you did to achieve those goals now in medical school it's kind of funny but we actually do have to create these goals at the beginning of each semester and we're supposed to be tracking them but we don't usually do that that carefully but if that's something that you do have to do for school like i do then this is actually a pretty nice template and it might actually encourage you to actually follow the goal or track it or pay closer attention to it because it's laid out so nicely and it's just a very easy way to be able to write down whatever notes you have and what other actions you want to track as well so that's about it these are the main templates i wanted to go over in notability i think this is a really useful feature that they have offered and i think that this is something that i wish other note-taking apps made a lot easier to use that i think notability does a very good job at making sure this is something really accessible for people to access and use whenever you want to so let me know what you think about the notability templates do you use them which templates do you use have you uploaded your own i'm really curious to see how other people are using the templates because even though this isn't something that i need to use on a regular basis i think it has so much potential for so many people and I would love to know the creative ways that you guys are coming up with to use the templates. So that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.